Wiggity, what is up, YouTube? To the whole PlayStation Raptor Nation, it's your boy Jay Brandon back here on the YouTube scene. And from what I see in a lot of the comments, you guys want to see how to get sparks quicker and how I got them so quick. And the truth is, I got all my sparks just from going into the toy box and uh, dropping a lot of symbiote, the trim dirt, drilled symbiotes, and just beating them up and keep using my uh, Infinity Gauntlet to knock all of them out. And from what I, and then after seeing like a lot of people on youtube just doing level 20 unboxings after one after another one after another one after another and i'd almost finished everybody in the game at level 20 at that point did some research found out that you could build <clears throat> a spark generator basically a little controlled area where enemies come in and die instantly and you receive sparks and the two power discs you're going to want to increase this is the user control that you see right here and the merlin summon merlin summon actually makes to where you have a bigger radius to get sparks like you 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 get more of them just sitting there and the user control actually gets you 10 percent more xp and as you can see this is why i hate this 2.0 uh, I, I why i don't understand why this always happens it always messes up when you have two power discs on there but whatever i'm gonna show you how to build a spark generator from what i see is the best and what my knowledge is is a it's not the more enemy generators you have the more xp and all that stuff you're going to get because it controls the xp regardless of how much it's going to drop say per 30 minutes per hour as you see you'll get a lot of xp to start with and then it'll just keep diminishing and getting lower and lower and lower but that's where the user control helps you out you should get 10 percent more if it doesn't boof out like this all the time so you're going to go into your xfinity toy box you're going to go to the creative creative toys here i'm going to just show you all the things you need not too much you get a repeater you stick that wherever you want and uh, you're gonna need a trigger area, but uh, we're gonna go to my enemy generator. See, as I saved that as a favorite, we'll stick it there. And I see a lot of people, they do threes, and I don't do that three by threes. It's just, you don't need it. And then you just go, you do two sections like this. It's gonna be the easiest to control the sparks. And if you do any more than this, it's, it's just gonna take away from the overall sparks getting dropped per enemy. So there's no point of doing a lot. Don't believe the myths that you're gonna get more. If you put more, it's not gonna happen. It's just gonna glitch the game out. And you don't need to use the hardest opponents because even the hardest opponents are gonna drop less sparks over time. So let's get into this. You're gonna uh, basically go back into your your little, uh, you're gonna take out your wand. You're gonna, oh. Hit that you want a logic connection oh whoa okay we picked the wrong one let's get that out of here I meant to pick a repeater not a replayer ha 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 but yeah let's go to the repeater we're gonna put that right oh come on put that right there aim hit that we're gonna make a logic connection we're gonna go to repeat and we're going to do this for every single one. We're going to hit that. We're going to go to the toy box. We're going to go down to Spider-Man. This is what I use because it, it stresses out the game the least. We're going to go to Symbiote. They're going to one. And we're going to do this for every single one. So it's not too hard. We're going to uh, just pick all these. Go back down to Spider-Man. Go down to Symbiote. There's another Elijah connection. And we're going to hit that. Same thing for all 10 of them. Go down to Spider-Man again, Symbiote, and trust me, you, you can pick the large Symbiotes and it's just gonna stress your game out. New Logic Connection, repeat. We are going to go here, kick that, we're gonna go to Spider-Man, we're gonna go to Symbiote. And you can do this with like an enemy wave generator too, but this way I think it's the easiest. Okay, we did that one, we should have five now. Spider-Man. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's, uh... Let's actually go here. Hit that. And we are gonna go to properties. Oh, man. New logic connection. Oh, man. Let's just do this over. I'm gonna go to there. 
I want to say which one is is it going to be that one? Repeat symbiote. All right, we may have a large one in there. I may have made a boo boo, but uh, besides the point, new logic connection. Repeat there. Trying to go too fast. Mess that one up. Symbiote. There goes another logic connection. Doesn't take too long to do once you get the hang of once you get the hang of it. So another logic connection. <clears throat> Repeat. See if I can stay here and do it. That one. Spider-Man symbiote. Go to this. Logic connection. Repeat. And go down to Spider-Man. Symbiote. There we go for that. Oh. Logic connection. Repeat. And then the last one here. Alright, so now we got all those set up and uh, now what you're going to want to do is go in here, grab one of these, put it here in the middle of all of them, a trigger area, Oh, and then uh, what you're going to want now is a kill switch. And we're going to put that off to here. You're going to see how all this ties in together. So we're going we're gonna to set this up right here. New logic connection entered. You're gonna to wanna to do by AI and then go down to enemy. And then you wanna go connect that to the kill switch. And then you're gonna to go to defeat, right? Then we're gonna connect this, a new logic connection entered by player any and set this up to the repeater. And then you're gonna put that as on. So now people, from what I see, they'll put teleporters. You do not need teleporters. Follow these instructions and, and, and you can save yourself some time. So uh, the only other thing I would put in is basically a starting point. Right here. Uh, a checkpoint. You can stick that. Stick that. Uh, well, actually, just stick that right in front of it, you know? So, uh, yeah, then we're going to we're going to we're going to block this in and oh wrong button we're gonna block this in go down I like using the basic blocks because you get to uh, I'll show you and you only want to use those I'll show you how you do it you're gonna switch that like that you're gonna do two actually I think you're gonna do three right and then we're gonna go over put this down like this one two oh three Oh, watch out. Drop it like it's hot. One, two, three. Then you're going to want to do like this. Let me make this a little. Oh, actually, no. You want. Uh, why is it not letting me do that? Huh. Maybe not. And two, three. Should have let me do that one like that. Hmm. That's weird. But all right. That is pretty weird. But oh, I know why. Dur. We're gonna keep these out here like this and go up with it. Two. And then we're gonna take these blocks. And make everything just look complete, you know? One. Two. Three. Four. So now you got to enter port. Everything's blocked in. Let's get these uh, switched out to a, a pretty cool color. I like picking the water. But we're going to pick something new. We'll pick red. We'll pick smashed. And then we'll go to theme all. Yes, it looks pretty cool. So now when you enter this thing, it's just going to do this. Watch. Okay, now I know why. 
And then if you go here, you're going to want to actually hit this logic connection and you're going to want to go to properties and you want to switch this all the way to one so they come out faster. You see this? And you sit right here and you're going to get everything. And you can do this for all your players and you're going to end up getting cash money. And actually, the one I made actually doesn't even have this back here. It's all blocked in. So I'll fix that and switch this to <clears throat> switch this to like 50 to where to where they don't come out as much. And then yeah, see, it's just quick. It's no problem. See, these ain't supposed to be here. Like that kill switch ain't supposed to be right there but uh yeah i mean that's how i do it with the if this is out a little bit more and then that back row back here isn't here because the kill switch was supposed to be moved further back but whatever that's how i do it and you could close them in even more but you only want two layers two rows and that will be your best bet for the most most sparks as you see it tore it up right there and yeah if you can hit a like share this video and subscribe to my channel if you need any help or any questions i could do to the best of my knowledge i'll, I'll respond back to you in your comments and remember uh the Merlin Summit and the user control are the two power dish you're, you're going to want to run all this. As always, been your boy, J. Brandon, PlayStation Rep the Nation, and I'm out. Peace. Rawr!